Wasn't Gabe at your party? Gabe was at the party. No, there's nobody didn't see one that for a long time. Oh, okay. It's, uh, no. it's going now. It's going now, okay. The Pagano and the Vitali family originated in Newark, the ironbound section in Newark. They came from Italy in a little town called Nucera, the province of Salerno, Italy. And that's where they came from, like they they settled in the ironbound section in Newark. Uh, I say. You grew up there? We, you, you grew up there. I grew up there. We all grew up there. And then about 1945. Just for just for the just for the sake of some of the uh, younger generations, why don't you name your siblings? Okay. You, you know, in, my two sons are Mario and Anthony. No, your 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 my, uh, sisters and your my sisters. Yeah, my first sister was your grandmother, Anna. Anna. Then came my brother Sam. Then came my sister Rose. Then came my brother Phil. Then came my brother Al. Is Raymond Al was born? I, I came. Was to see he wasn't born yet. Mario came. Then it was Johnny, Joey, and Viola. Yeah. 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 Billy, Billy, Billy. How many kids I've got? I, I've got if I got them all. Can you run that thing back? I can't get the sound out. Why don't we get uh, your sisters over there? Have a good time. Hey, Rosemary. And Rose, look over here. This Hi. is Rose. She was the third born. You're the third born. Yeah. That right. was, he was. He wasn't sure if he got all of your siblings, all of your He's brothers like and sisters. He's making like, he's making like a, a story. We went over that last night, me and mom. We did. Yeah. But like I said, trying to figure out who was who was, who was before one another. Yeah. This is Viola's daughter, Patty. Yep. EJ. PJ. Her name is Pat <laughs> Patricia. Patricia. Oh, Never mind if these girls, they want to name themselves their own name. Yeah. Right? yeah but that's, that's where we all came from, from the Iron Bound section in 1945. 46. I'm gonna, you know Your what? grandmother, I'm my sister Anna, and moved up here to Berkeley High School. Uh -huh. So that's where the other clan started to come from. Uh, that, that has the tone too. Uh -huh. Yeah. This has the talking also. Yes. As long as you're, as long as you're loud enough. I see. Long they have. Loud that's where the Anianos came that's from. Nice. The Embimbos came from. Yeah. When my sister moved up here, and her husband Basil yeah. moved up here back in 1945. 45 or 45. I can't even remember the year. But that's what it was. Because I got out of the service. And yeah. Up here. Yeah. But, uh, but it goes. Back. Everything just grew up when yeah. Snyder Avenue. It was just one little street. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was closed never, up never to the railroad through. track. <laughs> Snyder Avenue was closed up to the railroad up to track. The, railroad. the lake was open to everyone that to made swim. That across the street, there was swimming, yep. fishing, fishing yep. everything. It was beautiful there. Not all the houses came in and yep. all the factories come in and all the people came in and ruined, came in and ruined the country. <laughs> <laughs> They cut the <laughs> Right, right. So your grandfather had seven acres there. Mm -hmm. Seven or And we used to hunting in yeah. the back there. They used to raise chickens back there. And geese, the goats. And the goats and the chickens. And the thing the that was running after you, what was it? You, you remember the one chicken? There were chicken, ducks the used to go across the street and into the lake. They had a big rooster and it would only yeah. chase a gate all the time. Yeah. And gate would come running inside. <laughs> so my sister said to me, Shoot that down. <laughs> so we could never shoot it because it was in a big enclosure. Oh, yeah, the enclosure. Right. And it was all weeds that had grown up. So I got the 22. Oh, and I tried to it. get the rooster to keep coming up and down. And <laughs> funny rooster and popped his head up and boom. Oh, <laughs> poor rooster. The, the rooster yeah, with the that. The feathers went flying. running away from the rooster. I tell you, Lisa, it was another time when 
because it's built for July. They were all up in Berkeley High. My sister had some geese, yeah. and the geese used to honk. And I used to go into the woods and listen to the geese. This is where I'd find my way out. So one day, Sonny says to me, why, Uncle Mario, watch these geese fly. So he gets the shotgun, and he shoots. Oh, the my geese God. flew up in the air, and all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> Three grease dropped dead. Oh my God! <laughs> my sister had to come out and said, "Clean them." Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Oh. I tell you. And they ate them. And they, well, yeah, they, and they ate them, right? But you know, there was a lot, a lot of fun in Berkeley. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, years ago, and how? Uh, we all got together. We had right? yeah. 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 But there was never any problem. Yeah, right. We didn't have we didn't have money. We didn't have a lot of money anyway. Yeah. But they all we got. We were there nearly every week. Slept over. Used to hear them at night in the late Papa, Papa and Mama were born in 1888. And when I went to the cemetery, I seen them on the stone. It was on the stone. That's why. What, we were what, were what were their names? What were their names? What were your parents' names? My father's name was Alfonso. That's where Al came to the name yeah. from. And my mother's name was Bet Alberta. Bettina, they used to call Alberta. Alberta's on, their, Alberta's on the paper. On yeah. the paper. Alberta. Alberta. So that's that's who my sister's named after. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Name me after that. Yeah. They always try to name after. Name it. Oh, years ago. That's how it was. Yeah. After the grand. I remember years ago when Joyce was born, and Annie named her Joyce, and Mama says to me, "Ma," in Italian, they they name uh, the Joyce, the Joyce of uh, of the stair uh, yeah. of, of the doors. Yeah, the Joyce. My grandma well, didn't uh, go for the Merkin names. So, so my, mother, my mother used to say, Mark, these American names, he's the norm and the tidy. What are they? Yeah. A Keith, a Kevin, yeah. a Dis, and a Duff. What is it, this yeah. name? Because they weren't like yeah. the names they were used to. Because you wanted an Italian name. It was funny. Italian. Keith, Jesse, and what are this name? <laughs> All American names. Oh, so what you're saying is my mom was rebel. Is that what you're saying? Mother was it a rebel? No. Yeah. And it started with Joyce. Yeah. See, there was a, there was a seed that was planted. Joyce. What are their names? June, July, August. Yeah, right. Anne Marie, Susan. Who got June? Oh no, that was Sunny. Phil, my that was Phil, that their brother Phil. His daughter was named June. Right. Yeah. He had June. Yeah. Gary. Gary, David, David, but you, my mother said, Mark and you. So are you so always named them after their, you Yeah, they're all different names, you know, a good Italian name, Juwan, Sam, Juzap, Juhat, all that stuff. But that's, uh, that was a tradition. We had a a good, good family, oh, yeah. and they all got together. Yeah. We did? Yeah. We had my my one brother back in 48. We all used to go hunting, my brother mm -hmm. Sam and I. But he got killed in an accident back in 48. But we gave up hunting there for a while, but we still went hunting. So Gabe got into hunting with us when he was a kid. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the thing, I guess I'm about the last one left. There's nobody else. <laughs> Keith goes hunting once in a while, I think. Doing any more hunting, Keith? Once in a while. But these, you kids of today, you know, you're not avid. You gotta get out there. But we travel. My wife and I, we travel quite a bit. We just got back from a Japanese wedding in Japan. Really? Which was fascinating. We visited Italy where my father was born. 
to where your grandfather was born. Now, did you meet any relatives back there? Just two of them. Two of them. We didn't spend enough time. We should have spent more time. I want to go back and spend more time. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was good. It was good. We'll, go, we'll go out again. Good Lord's willing. That's all I got to say. And it's meant to be, I'll go. Now, were they, if they were relatives on whose side? Your My father's mother's side and your grandfather's side. Oh, okay. Your grandfather had the relatives in the same area. In Italy, it was like a cul-de-sac where my mother and father lived, then another part where your grandfather, the Pagano family, mm -hmm. lived. So that's where they originated from the provincial Salerno, and that down there past Naples. Oh, so that's where. Uh that's where that uh, expression comes in the, at least on the Amiano side, uh, Fanabola? Fanabola. Yeah. Go to Naples? <laughs> no, they, you see, people would say they came from Naples, but they didn't. They, the, Naples is the embarkation point where the big sea liners came in. Mm -hmm. and people left from Naples. They all were from Naples, yes. Yeah. They left from Naples, but most of them were in the vicinity. Right. Like Berkeley Heights here, you got Sterling, Millington. Then our people came from, there were three little provinces. There was Lucetta, Lucetta Supriona, Superior, and the Lucetta Inferior, Inferior. Mm -hmm. So our people came to the superior part of Lucia. Oh, yeah. well, they're they little villages. Town. All little villages yeah. in Italy. Did the one that you visited have a name? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Lucia 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 is the village Lucia name? Lucia 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 Sofrio. That's where my mom and papa well, came yeah. from. Yeah, that's, that's where the Pagamos came from. Yeah, that, that's the village that they were born in yeah. and were raised in. And I remember mama used to say they could see Mount Vesuvius. Yeah. The volcano. The volcano from their little town. They probably didn't see it all, but... No, they, well, they could see it from there. Yeah. Oh, really? Right, right. So were they close enough to be living on the... Uh, on the on the buried remains of old uh, Vesuvius no. victims, no, no, or no, they could see from Pompeii. from a distance, okay. from a distance of their province where they lived. But there's the so few, there's been a few earthquakes there around the volcano. Right, years and years ago. Some of the homes are despair. They don't they want to take care of it. No. I don't know what else to say, Jesse. <laughs> Mitch. Uh, Mitch. 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 Jesse. <laughs> well, you did go to see where the Papa, Papa built the house. The Papa's house. The Papa's house. I went right. in. You went in. And I they gave us coffee. Yeah, yeah. isn't that nice? Sure. Yeah. I think it was all brick or stone or something. They're all stone. They're all stone, stone homes. homes. What, yeah. what did he do? Yeah. What did he do for a living? Yeah. What was his employment? Uh, uh, My father. He was a cook. A cook. Well, first in the army. Yeah. Papa was the cook in that? the army. Well, his so father got... used to raise goats. Oh. He, he was the father. My father's father mm -hmm. raised goats. Naturally, they would be sold for the milk, goat milk and mm -hmm. goat cheese, stuff like that. And they, uh, the, the name in Italian was Ugrava. Because they raised goats. goats. Yeah. Remember when Papa had the, his own goats in the backyard? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember. Right. It was when I was a, a kid too, and we had goats uh, that my father, you know, liked the goats. And the mother goat had the baby goats. The poor mother goat died, and we had to. And Papa always says, "You wait for me till I come home." And we'd have the bottle with the nipple on, and Papa would sit down to feed the, the little baby goats. He nursed them himself. Yeah, right, right. And when we feed him, he'd say, hey, you know, that he wanted to feed. Because I remember the little goats being in the house. That was on Astor Street. Because we had the backyard. Well I, well, I was born on Astor Street. You were born on Astor Street. And you were born on, uh, that's right, because you were a baby when we moved to Mary Street. Mama was in bed. I gave birth to Viola. And you were 
small because you were hanging on to the to the sheets in the bed and mama was in bed in Viola that she had been born not so long ago. And you had learned to walk right before we had moved from Aston Street. Yeah, yeah, then from Aston Street we bought the house on Walnut. That's when Papa started to fix you up for the bathroom in, but we had no bathroom. Oh, years ago. No. That's right. Then my father built the bathroom. Yeah. Did you ever we had no tub or shower. No, we had the tub of the bathroom and the, the, the kitchen. The kitchen, yeah. And the tub too down the cellar where there used to be the tubs. Yeah. On Astor Street we had the tubs, not the tubs they have today. You know all solid stuff. We used to go take the baths in the tubs. And that's it. But that was the whole. Yeah. That's how we were great. That's it. Remember, Papa had built the the wine the grinder. Well, I'll say one thing. We had it on the Astor Street. You remember? Yeah, when they used to bring, oh no, you were a baby then. You know, that would be down on, uh, big enough for both of them. I don't know, was Walnut it? Street, do we get wine? I think, I yes, he had a wine press he, he built in, down the cellar on Walnut Street, too, where he had a wine press also. What, what, what year would it that have been? What, what time frame? Oh my, let me see, can we remember? Not the exact year, just the general. The early 30s. Yeah, at least. To the wine. Yeah. Early 30s? Got to be. Let's yeah. see. Oh, Viola went home. I was going to ask her. Oh, well, she's 75. I went to service in 43. So in the early 30s, we used to make our own wine. It's got to be. Late 20s or early 30s? Late 20s. Got to be. Yeah. We used to make our own tomatoes. Oh, yeah. The tomatoes. Yeah. You all get in the yard. What do you eat? What do you eat? Uh, just eat? one piece. That's all. Just one. Well, can you get me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure she's getting it. Are you sure? No, you take that. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you all get in the yard. Cut tomatoes all up. We would bottle them all up. With soda bottles. Soda bottles. And we'd tap them. Yep. And my father would make a big fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a big. Uh, in the big. In the backyard. And get big 50 gallon drums. Drums. And we wrap these bottles up. And, 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 and water. Put them in the drum. And then my the father fire. would fire. Oh, yeah and boil them by the hours. Commander. Then they cool off, then we have to take the bottles right, back sir. out. You sterilize them? Cool them off. No, oh. no, we had sterilized sterilize them at first before right. we, we, we put the... That's what the boiling was for. Yeah. The boiling was for preserving the tomatoes. Right. We put all these tomato bottles... Put it down the cellar the for the winter. And that's what we had for our tomatoes, our sauce, right. all year long. Till the next summer, make some more. So my mother would and I, a couple times, we would go down to the slaughterhouse, I would go my little wagon, and we'd buy lard, fat, and we'd come home, and my mother would make, it's like a Crisco, mm -hmm. so we'd boil that, and squeeze that, and make our, our Crisco. Yeah, it's like you buy oil. Shortly. Right. Then she would buy pork butts and whatnot. We'd come home and we'd cut that up and we'd grind it up and she'd make her own sausage mm -hmm. and hang the sausage up to dry too. Then sometimes I would take the wagon, my mother and I would bake make this, uh, the bread. Then I'd take the wagon to the baker. And for five cents, a loaf or two for a guy, whatever it was, he put it in the oven, the baker put it in the oven, and we take the bread back home. That was Pagano Bakery down on uh, Oliver Street. Pagano Bakery? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was no relative, though. No. no. No, no connection. But it was, that was our way of life in those days. And it was happy life. That's right. That was, that was this, in this area, you said? Or was that, that one's in Newark? Newark. That was in Newark. That was in Newark. They didn't have, we didn't. No, we yeah. No, we were just all in Newark. Oh, North we, North North. North. we had the big slaughterhouses around there. Oh, yeah, a lot of them yeah. had bread. Right. We used to go over right. mom and right. take a little wagon and buy all the, 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 the meats and whatnot. Oh, I had tripe last week, bro. No kidding. We were happy. I never knew what my mother said. Not too much money. I had a little bit of My mother would give us a nickel. 
five cents on a Saturday. Remember this is the little theater? There was a little theater called the Warren Theater. Give us a nickel. We go to the theater for five cents and they give you a bar of baby root or even a bottle of Coca-Cola for a nickel and we watch the movies. Five cents. We had gone to the restaurant a few months ago. What is it? Anything else you want to add? I have to, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I just. Um, well, uh, your sister. You said your sister moved out here in uh, 45. Yeah, Fort Berkeley Heights. 19, about 1945. Had to because I got married in 40 and I was living in Annie's house, and then we bought the house right. and she moved up here. Yeah. So it had to be. Papa, we prayed for you in the house. Well, it's and you and you moved, when did you move in here? Uh, you mean where I, get, where I am yeah. now? Well, into the area. We start building. I think it was 1950. Get early 50. Are they giving you history? Is yeah. he, he taking yeah, history? He's, yeah, we'll give it a good. He's good. Going to. It's so important. Yeah, right. Yeah, that it's taped. Yeah. Right. Uh, important. Yeah, but it's no. good to look back. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we so ba so basically, in Anna, come over in '45. Yeah, you came, came around sometime around when. It had to be because, like I said, I was married and uh, they were still in Newark. It's got to be about '45. I got out of the Navy in 1946. Well then, early '46, and they were up here. Up here already. So I'm saying in 1945, they did. Yeah. They just moved up here. Where did the others go? Obviously, you're accounted for. She's accounted for. And we have one brother and, moved and out to Lodi. That was Al. Yeah. Bert, you lived in Newark also. No, he lived in Newark. We all lived in Newark. Right. You started out in Newark. Newark. That's where your family was. Yeah. Then Al got married and still lived in Newark, but then he moved out to Rochelle. Yeah. Near Lodi. Rochelle. Lodi. 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 Same difference. Near, near, near one of My brother Phil moved up to Irvington. You moved to Berkeley Heights. My brother Johnny, when did he no, move? Wait a minute. Uh -uh. In the 50s, I saw. Viola lived in Newark. Yeah, she's still there. Still in Newark. Matter of yeah. fact, she still lives yeah. in my mother's uh, house. Really? When my mother passed away. We had her by the house. Uh, where the heck did Phil live? Oh, Irvington. My brother Phil moved to Irvington. Like first he lived where he had the store. Yeah, South well, Orange Avenue, and then he moved to uh, uh, Joey moved to Union. No, Joey um, used to live in, in Philly's apartment. Oh, well, they're still. But then he moved to have his own home. We're still all in the My same area, area around New York. Right, right. Union, Irvington. Right. Then when we really got out of service, most of us, that's when we started to move out. Yeah, I moved to, uh, I got married, I moved to Irvington. Irvington, I moved into Hillside. Mm -hmm. and then from there, the cramp, and that's where I'm still in cramp. How many years? That's about 34 years now. 35 years. Already? Yeah. Time flies. We used to come up here to Berkeley Heights. There was nothing here. That time was country. I used to go hunting in the back of the pheasants, cabbage, deer. So they tell me. No, nothing. No, no more now. There's a lot of deer, but you can't shoot them. I had a slew of them a couple of days ago. They were in the row, in the back of my woods. I thought what I was looking at, and there they were deer, one after the other, just walking way over the woods to get to the other part of the property. Mm -hmm. And it looked so comical. I thought what the, what was there marching, and they were in a straight line. I couldn't understand. I said, how do you like the deer? All in order. And the color was more like the color of the bark of the trees, and I had not made them out until I looked real good. I said, holy cow. There's deer all along. I think there must have been about eight of them, one after the other. It was so comical. But once in a while, well, well, we had a big family. Oh yeah. My father had this big table. We all used to sit around the table. And when it came time to eat, he'd say, "Shut up." Shut up! You got the devil on your shoulder. 
so we had to shut up, otherwise you'd choke. One, 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 uh, what did they say? One, one, one is a man, just to come back to Gamar. Gamar, that right. I was sitting at the end of the, I was sitting at the end of the table one day, and I started to talk. My father went, whoa, fuck. I went off the chair. He said, now get up. see you now, you shut up. Well, I have to talk. Did you get up? to make up. Sit down and eat. Uh, After we eat, then you talk. <laughs> but that was the thing. Uh, the you know what sticks in my uh, head? Uh, we're all yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting we, we were all, Where am I? You were young. You were, we were still, you know, young. No, I don't I'm know what you did. I'm, I'm, I'm with everybody. He was so mad. He yeah. ran after you. I think it was you. I don't know. You were the one that always used to get in the oh, little problems. Talk? It couldn't have been right. Sammy. No, sure. I don't Hold think on. so. Yeah. But anyhow, you know he ran after one of you round the block over to New York Avenue. No, that wasn't me. Well, who what could have no. been? Oh, I don't know. That wasn't me. Wasn't I can't me. remember yeah, was who it was. But anyway, was whoever was my brother. He ran all around. The papa was chasing my yeah, brother. Papa around the fast. clock. We around the clock. Fast. And by time, he went all around the you block. My brother, whoever you was, I can't remember. I wouldn't have no. been Philly. No, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't Phil. Wasn't Phil. No. No. Well, anyhow, he ran in the house, and he ran under the bed where we Mom... We ran under the bed. Where Mom... Oh, yeah, that's where oh. I got it from. Uh, Mama's bedroom in the small room, right? Well, you guys must with a bunch of short there. guinnies running under and, the bed. I've got a guinea bed. They were, they were young give you a kids. Guinea. What is it? Is it some pastries? We just had some things. But anyhow, Papa went in there, was pushing the bed from one wall to the other. Mama was crying and attacking. Do a chee, do the chee, chee. That means you're gonna kill him. You gotta kill him. And the bed was going back and forth. And I can't remember if you got out of the bed and ran out again. That was a bum. It must have been you because you always talk about. Well, I got really because my mother always <laughs> the I think it was with you. the broom. It must have been him. Either, either you or Johnny. <laughs> no, no Johnny was, was small. He, he, he was, was a, a he was a mealy mouse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Johnny? Yes. yes. He, he was a quiet man. Yeah. Johnny, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny, every time you did something, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> uh, we called him Johnny Gaga. Johnny Gaga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the time. Always a crybaby. I think it was <laughs> you. I don't know. Yeah. 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 My brother Johnny was the worst crybaby. What? Reminiscing. Not like Uncle Mario. Perfect in every way. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't perfect. I, I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we got another person chiming in. I was the best. You were the best. I know. Yeah, yeah because we were. They were younger than me. Yeah. And I was Annie. You had to take care of Annie was already raising her own, her own kids. kids. Yeah. She got married before she finished 15. You know? Yes. And that's what they that's why the family. Yeah, your grandmother got so married. And I told years you, old. Was pregnant and she was pregnant and well, she used to live upstairs. And I was standing in the kitchen and I was watching them trying to pass one another with their bellies. <laughs> and I says, I'll never have a baby in my mind. I said <laughs> the, the, the angel came and says <laughs> Amen. So I never had kids. <laughs> I adopted. <laughs> Well, tell, tell Mitchell that story. Now, Grandma married Grandpa, Aunt, you know, Basil yeah. and Anna. Yeah. And Basil, when he lived in Italy, who did he live with? Tell that story. Oh, you know why Basil came to America? He didn't want to go in the army. Ba no, wait a minute. Ba yeah, Basil's family got a spray there that they used to tell, uh, uh, get the boys when they were very young, I think before 16, put them in the army. Yeah. So now Mama was adopted by Basil Pagano's family. Do you know this, Mitchell? No. Yeah, I, I think I've heard My a story from Josie, but was I... was an orphan, and she had met the father that fathered her, but she never married, knew the mother that mothered her. They never got married. She did meet her father, who, who was a, a dentist, yeah. my mother told me. In Italian, she used to yeah. tell us stories. And I, I knew Italian, you know. And... That night, she told us all about how she was adopted. Pagano family wanted to adopt another baby. They went to the orphanage. Now, it isn't like today, you know that. Orphanage in Italy is different. They went. they went to the orphanage. They wanted to adopt a baby. So they looked over the children that they had, and they seen Mama was there. But then they considered they didn't know if they wanted to adopt or not. So they got in the horse and wagon again. We're going back home without taken any child. As they were traveling, it started thundering and, and lightning. 
and the thunder and lightning uh, scared the horse. The horse jumped up, go. turned around with the wagon, and went right back the to the orphanage. They took it as, as a sign from God that they had adopted the baby they seen, which was my mother. They took the, my mother home, and she was one of the family, but she was adopted by the Pagano family. Because right. she didn't have the name Pagano. Her name in Italian was Citella. Citella. Alberta Citella. That was her name. C I T E L L I, something like that. Because I got the papers home yet. And that's how she was raised by the Pagano family, but she was not a Pagano. Right. You get it? Right, and we got, I got that. So then when. Basil grew older, that he was 16, 16, I imagine, and he was going to go in the army. They got scared and sent them over to our, my mother's house. And I was a, well, I was that's a kid. She had moved to America. She married to moved to America. That, that's she right. She had her first daughter. Yeah. You mean my... My grandmother. Oh, your grandmother. Right, right, right. So and that's... She was living in America. Right. Her foster brother or her stepbrother, whatever you call. The other was still in... Uh, right. Uh, so the stories, you, could, you, you know funny so, stories from the old she times. Married, she married... Not a brother, stepbrother. Step yeah. She was a stepdaughter yeah. because she was adopted, but she was not. The blood. Again, yeah, you get it? She was not blood. blood. So naturally, when Basil come over, he was not. I got the picture of him, 17 years old, with slats on, you know, and a hat on. Oh yeah, they always wear hats. And the, and naturally. Real you know, dark. Yeah. You know how it is, the young people's blood is hot. And I used to remember when we lived in Zivagianza's house, yeah. we had bedrooms upstairs. I used to get on top of the steps and I look at Annie and Tootsie down below hugging and kissing. So so before you these got to huh? You call Grandpa Tootsie? Tootsie. Tootsie. Oh yeah, that was his name. That yeah. was his name. He used to call him Tootsie. Why? I Keep it up, Vicky. Keep it up. Know, I can't concentrate on the camera and feeding him. So you're doing a good job. Yeah, I know. And anyhow, what happened then, hey, you know how things are, they're young, the blood is hot and boiling, <laughs> mama says, get married, and, and that's it. Get <laughs> she came first to and find a, a job and then called for the wives to come, okay. that's how my mother said. Wasn't it the Buns and, yeah. and Basil brothers? Yeah. yeah. Why don't we move these out of the way here? They, then, they, get, no, give me those. I don't want to lose the bottle. Oh, you can take them. But in that league, there were all these houses right. in the right. cul-de-sac. They're all... We used to call it Agustin. Oh, the courtyard. Yeah, right. okay. The courtyard, right. Agustin, okay. They were all interrelated. And, and then and my know? father was and living in this things. house. Right. Our parents, and then... And the, the other ones lived next to it. Your father was living in this house. Yeah. In that house. They, you know, they all lived together right. yeah. in this courtyard. Yeah. And that's when the Paganos moved, and then the, the Vitalis moved. And that's how they got together. The Vitali, the Pagano clan. But to, to go all the way back, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of history and whatnot. If you want to really want. And all the little things in between as we grew up. Because I was the second in line. Annie was the first girl. There was a little girl that died in Italy. Two of our, our sisters died, one in infancy, about a year, and uh, then another little girl died of about five. Yeah, yeah. right, that one. Right. What, how old was Annie when she came? Annie? Well, she was young, because she came on, on the boat. Yeah. I, she she made a couple of years old, that's all. Well, she was born in Italy, Annie was born in Italy. She was and the only Sammy one born too? Yeah. yeah. Not right, Sammy. right. No, not Sam, no. No, 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 Sammy was no. born here in, Amer Sam, in America. And then the, the girl, the Mary, rest. the one that buried on such a laugh. Little Mary, she was, she was born, born here, here. Uh, also in America. So there were three children that died. The no. little girl in Italy. No, the little girl. How many in Italy died? One. One. Oh, I could the have one. said no, two. No, 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 the one. And then the other little girl here in America yeah. who passed away. And, and I know of a couple of Mrs. Mama. I remember how Papa used to feel so bad when Mama got Mrs. Even though we were Mrs. kids. He didn't mind. Really. Mama we didn't need money then. They, we all no. helped one another. Yeah, right. And Mama, right. Mama, Mama would say, what the heck, we put another half a pound of yeah. Yeah. pasta for right. 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 money. But it was, a, it was a, a more interesting life. We didn't have no crazy toys to play with. Who needed what toys? toys? <laughs> when, when you kids were small, I used to give each one of you the tops of the pots and go, go banging around the table. And that's how we played. Yeah, we, we never wanted toys. Who wanted toys? 
toys. They used to hang the stock, the stockings up. I on used to put them on the fireplace. And they used to put fruit in there. Yeah, I used to, and a couple of coals. Yeah, yeah. We had to have enough. If we were bad, we, that got coal in the right, socks. Right, right. <laughs> I remember that. But we didn't need that. Yeah, I had the old pop belly stove to make heat in the living room. Because I used to live in the thing yeah. where you push it out the day bed. We had the stove in the kitchen yeah. that made the, the hot pop water. Belly, right. That's right. And then we all sit around the stove. So, where was hot? Then we would have maybe a tangerine or the oh, we put the skins on the stove to get in the room in the house. We used to open the door of the oven because it was hot and put our feet in there. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't have steam heat. We only well, had the kids didn't have, have their own beds. No. I had to sleep with three of my brothers. You're telling me. <laughs> you know, three brothers here, three brothers here. Please. The sisters were inside. So sometimes we used to get with the boys. So what? We used to jump up and down. Hey, up and down. hey Roto, what? He, he got it wrong. He didn't have to sleep with three of his brothers. No. They had to sleep with him. <laughs> Yeah. They had to put up. But it was them. more fun those days than the anything. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Johnny. Boy, that didn't happen. That's a joke. Fonts. Johnny, Johnny and Joey in one bed. Yeah. Mario, Mario and the other. He's going to tell you the rest of the story. Right? And then you're going to tell the rest of the story. And then, and then, and then when, I, and when I used to come down there, yeah. it was me in the corner. Yeah, you sit over there and tell your side. And when your sister was alive, Anna, Anna just drive me crazy. Uh, yeah. She come down, they used to live down the street. We all lived yeah. on the same bed. On the same uh, block. She come down and she jump on the bed and get up. And she was like, get out of here. <laughs> well, they would, would stay in bed on a Sunday. Uh, See, we, we, we used to go to church. Yeah, I know. We used to go to church We'd come home from church. Yeah. And my first thing I did was I ran to Grandma. Yeah, so, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. across they the were, street. They were, they, were, they, were, they were still in bed. What in bed? My mother would throw us out yeah. and she'd cover was, us up. Mama yeah. didn't stay in bed. You didn't know. No, no, no not Mama. Then, then I said, oh, the boys. Then. Oh, the boys. Yeah, that's yeah. a different yeah. story. The boys, the boys were still in yeah. bed. Yeah. Right? yeah, but I only was sleeping in the front room. So yeah, yeah, I remember. Make her get we out. We had the day that I owned my And then Grandma would have the meatballs cooking on the stove. Right. And you'd be stealing the meatballs. And I'd be yeah, right. With the with the with the uh, beignets in them. Right. Very yeah, good yeah. time. <laughs> That's what you gotta make. Yeah. Yeah. Beignets. You know I don't see them no more. Oh, well, she oh, owns them. Oh, yeah. What that? The beignets? Beignets. Yeah. I got two of them planted in my front yard. No, when you make them, you make it all fade out. Yeah. Or no, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I got two of those. I have two of those Italian stone pines planted in my front. Yard. I, I, I go and I marry them. <laughs> I put them in. Oh, no, and I don't like them. Oh, oh. and See, you don't like meatballs. I buy them by, I buy them by the uh, little tube, right? not the tube, the little container. Container, yeah. Yeah, the vino. Vino. I buy them by the vino. Take them home. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, yeah. when I was down the shop, I had the shop down in Newark. Yeah, yeah. Called me. Come on. 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 Oh, one, one, come on, you'll be here. You'll be here. Just one. Just one. Don't let him Pick, Pick one. You'll be sorry. Pick one. He said, Gabe, one of the yeah. Gabe, they bought the property up in Pennsylvania, and we went to look for it. Phil said, I'll take you. It's only about three and a half hours to go up there. It took us like nine hours. To find a place. Find, we got up there. And I said, Phil, where is it? Paul was alive then, and we were driving with this trailer. He had a he had a pop up trailer, and we're looking for the farm. And Phil said, No, we got to go this way. I said, Phil, we came over the Susquehanna Bridge six times already. Six times. Then he said, Go this way. So then that way. I said, We're in a farm. Oh, We're in this farm. There was no way to get out, so we had to turn that whole thing around again. And we drove. And we. I said, What's the name of this crummy town? Willowana. Where the heck is Willowana? So we went down, that went down another road, and all of a sudden he said. Here it is! There was a bee keeper, oh, the bee a bee keeper that she raised honey. Uh, uh, they called the honey house. Oh boy! And we had to make a right hand turn and up the hill, uh, and there we were. And from that day, I don't know how many years ago that was. You still go the same way? No. <laughs> yeah. We go over the same bridge. Yeah. We're all built now. Only one time though, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, Chad. Yeah. Mary was Gabe with you when you lost the dog. No. No, no, that was another hunting trip. I brought the dog house with me because I was going down to Maryland. We used to hunt there. And I used to have a little trailer at that time, leave it there, and we go to Maryland hunting every weekend. So my little dog that I had, my honey, I wanted to, didn't want to keep her in the in the, the, the trailer for my buddy says I don't want her in the trailer. So I kept one time I kept her in the in the station wagon. Another time I tried to keep her outside. I said, I'm gonna bring this dog house. So I tied this dog house on the station wagon. Oh my mother. They weren't going down the highway. Oh my god. And I says, Paul, I said the ropes are loosened up. Oh my god. Tight. So I got up and we tightened them. And we're going again and going and all of a sudden the ropes are loose again. Get out and tighten them up at the Where's the dog house? Flew off. <laughs> the dog house flew off the station. <laughs> and we rode back. Did you find it? No. The we couldn't find the you wood. Find we couldn't the wood. Find it. But we that, find that's the funny part of the story. They never found the wood. Never found. found it, picked it up, and brought it home. So we got back. It? We got back it to, was to Maryland. Fair dream, <laughs> yeah. I said, Paul, That's it. that dog you know stays Mario. with me Otherwise, you in the trailer. You would have lost I said, I own half of this trailer. You sleep on your <laughs> hair. I sleep on my hair. Oh, and and the dog, honey, honey would always get underneath my bunk. But, yeah. oh, as soon as I woke up, you know, he said, I'd open up the door. She'd go down. She'd go down and come back. Come back. But that was the story of the doghouse. Oh. Never knew where it went. Flew off the top of the... And we went all the way back, and I'm looking on the side of the road. That's a good thing that hit nobody in the back. Well, it was early in the morning. It and early. it disappeared. The doghouse disappeared. Yes, it disappeared. Never found it. It must have went to heaven. <laughs> Flew away. Dog Can you imagine heaven. going down a highway and somebody behind you and all of a sudden see a doghouse flying by? It'd be like, uh, what's the day? Oz, the Wizard of Oz? Yeah, the Wizard of Oz, yeah. The hot doghouse flying down. Isn't that funny? But then we got. Then we start really go up to Pennsylvania a lot, you know, every year, every year. So we would always bring, uh, first we used to make our own food, but then I start to bring lunches up. Then we would make sauce and everything. Then I had the restaurant that would make me a lot of food that I say had to be four of us up. They make all the food for us and bring it up. And the first thing Gabe, the first thing Gabe would say, Basil would be sitting with, hey Basil, yeah. what did Gabe say when he get in the car? 
What's that stink? All that good food. <laughs> had, uh, What's that but stink? there was a special dish that Emmy used to make, my friend would make broccoli. It's all all cleaned off. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the broccoli. Yeah, yeah. And it always, I know he wouldn't eat it. <laughs> what the heck is that? Yeah, imagine that. Yeah. Get it out. We couldn't even yeah. put it in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. It so Basil and I, we did it. How can you eat that? Uh, I said, Gabe. Like oh, yeah, I love it. I said, Gabe, you don't have to yeah. eat this stuff. You know, he's not a tiny one, but no. you know. <laughs> but he was so fussy. Yeah. He, he didn't, didn't like this. Mom. He didn't like that. <laughs> that's, that's, We'd have peppers and eggs. Feed that to pigs. Or peppers and well, we better. He'd be picking better. a piece of pepper. Yeah, the oh. Oh. What's wrong with the pepper? <laughs> I don't like pepper. And I used to bring food up there, and he'd pick this out, and pick that out. But we always had a good time. Last year we had to put the big ham up. Yeah, you had that ham. Remember that ham? Where did I get it from? You gave me the ham. Yeah, uh, from what? Mary Kay. Mary Kay and uh, bought it. Mary we had Kay. a holiday in Mary Kay. Mary well, the big portion of big ham. ham, ham. So no, I no, took the ham, ham shank. I took it up. I took it up. We were slicing, slicing. it. Slicing. It's ham. It's ham. Baked ham. Must have well, been baked. Yeah. That gave me to drive me crazy. There's a place down the bottom of the hill, Kabas. I just get so sick with that. I gotta have a kibas. And he wanted a kibas. He sees the ham. He ate that. He ate that stuff like. I get sick. I used to get sick. I said, I'm not having it. The little truck stop. It's got too much garlic in it. Well, not garlic. I don't know what the hell is that in it. All I know is it got me sick. But he, yeah, he just cooked. And he had garbage. I had all nice food. See that? Uh, oh, he was a little spoiled. Well, I was the cook, you know. You see? I had to come in and get everything going. She was out with the women or something. Yeah. 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 All right, one conversation at a time. We never had one conversation at a time when we were together. There was always four or five of them. And you have to learn to listen to each person. Well, the problem is the camera can't. Oh, see. He's talking about the camera, not the human being. I don't mind. I don't mind people discussing it, but yeah, when right. I'm trying to get it in the camera, it's, yeah. it's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How well, about you, you Joyce? Type of camera. You need a bigger How about you, Joyce? No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like a memory or a story about uh, when you were yeah, kids. When, when you well, were we were kids. Oh, well, I told you about when the geese when he kid. shot at the geese. Yeah. When he was a kid. I heard that story already. I remember Gabe. being yeah. my brother nursery Bill. times. Phil, I mean, I'm sorry, Phil. Back when we used I was to with him. Have gas yeah. in the house, and yeah. I'd go to the corner. Mama says, "Phil, uh, cool. well, make them fly." Gas. Yeah. It looked like a little Watch butterfly. The go fly. buy a new Watch one, you know. Fly. And I go out the corner <laughs> and buy that little thing that we looked had, like a and butterfly. We went down and the cellar, fucking box oh. And I'd always want to touch it. If I touched it, it would go. Clean them. You know, of course, it was the little cone for the gas light. Oh yeah, it looked like a little cone and like a. For what? This Before you had electricity. Oh yeah, what? we had the light on the wall. Yeah, but but yeah. when I used to wear out, Mama used to say, go go to the store corner, go buy the new one, and I would open the wick, the wick, yeah, and I'd open it up and look at it as I was going home. I said, oh, it looks like a butterfly. I'd want to touch it. If I did, it would break. You know, the wick. That, that, that is yeah, the, and then I'd go home, and Mama would put, it, and then it would light yeah. all up. Of course, the other one burned out. Yeah. Still, that wasn't the wick, that was the can of the, uh, well, the other bar. It, it like was a, a wick anyway. They call it a wick. Yeah, I used to, they used to put yeah. it on the, the piece that came out yeah. of the wall, then turn the gas on and the thing would light up. Like the, the guy who used to come at night to light the lamp lighter. Yeah. Well, the lamp. We what were kids know? and we used to run after him as soon as we seen him on the corner, but we couldn't go. Thank God. Uh, over the corner, we could not go uh, uh, away from our, our block. And so we'd start from one end of our block when we seen the guy with the big pole, and he would put it under the, the lamp, and you see, and the lights would go on. And he'd stop every so many feet until we got to the other end of the block, and then he lit the last one, and then we all run back home. That's when we were kids, I remember when I was a kid. That's when we used to run back home. No, we used to have gas. No, years ago, they didn't have gas. I put the rifle right through the screen. 
And then there was another story. Mama used to have a friend that she knew from Italy. They used to live in Brooklyn. The roosters used to chase them all the Well, every year they used to I think our family had problems with roosters. There's a couple of rooster stories. Your grandfather right? had a lot of animals. For so many at that time. years in Italy, they moved they a lot of animals. animals that they contacted again. So her lady friend uh, had a daughter. Now, yeah. she was, uh, well, she was a young lady by then. And she used to come and visit our house at on Air Street, Street, which we had all these gas lights, right? Well, that night, she used to be, well, I could say maybe she must have been 19, 20 years old. And she dressed very, you know, uh, fashionable. So that night, when she came to stay with us for a couple of days, she had this nice coat on, and she had a nice hat with little jingles on it. So it came night, and naturally, Mama gave her the room right up at the top of the stairs, which was my bedroom. It came time, we had to go to sleep now. And our friend, my ma Mama's, you know, uh, lady friend daughter, she put all her clothes in my room, too, hanging up and whatnot. So then it was time for me to get to bed. So I walked up the stairs. By that time, it was dark, right? I go up to the stairs, and I looked in my room, and I, I start screaming, because I was crying to my mom. Wow, there's somebody up here in Italian. And it has shiny eyes. So I ran downstairs. And then Mama, I think, I don't know who else was after. They came upstairs, and they looked in, and they ran down. Somebody's up there. Somebody's up there. He, he's, a, he's right near the wall there. And his eye, eyes are shiny. Next door used to be you know, friends of ours, the Sicilian, they were Sicilian, and they called him, he comes over, and he goes up and takes a look, he says, hey, you know, in Italian, he says, there's somebody in there, he runs home and gets a great big piece of metal, and he throws a bing right on it, right, right, landing in the wall, of course, they seen these shiny eyes, we called the cops, we called the firemen, they, they put a big ladder up uh, to the second floor, they climb up, got in, you know what it was? The fancy hot hat with celluloids dangling. And she had put her coat on a hanger and put it on the pipe that extended out to the gas light. She had it hooked on there, and the hat was on top, and it looked like a person near the wall. And that's what it was. It wasn't a man, it was her coat. And the hat, the black hat, with the two jangling plastic things that were hanging that looked like eyes. And the neighbor next door take, took a hold of this big piece of metal. <laughs> and that was the man. Oh, that night it was crazy. The policeman came. You know, the old days. The, the, the firemen came, walked up the big ladder to look inside. That was funny. Bro, do you want to come home? Yeah, you're going, yeah, you're going okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, you have a lot there to, right, to put on up, film. I'll pick you up there. Okay. Where? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wait, Joycey. Yes. You going to stay a while? No, I'll go home. No, you can stay. He'll, well, he's going to take you home. My poor dog, he's all alone. So long. Take me home for You want to go? You stay. Stay for another while. You know? I might as well stay. I'll go. I'll go with you. It's up to you. I'm taking my bo empty bottle so my Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. No, you know what? Goodbye. I buy a glass Goodbye. of milk, and that goes to the other man. So I told him to put them in the bottle. Okay, darling. I'll need. see you in the summer. Yeah, go see you next month. Huh? All right. Yes, you go. Let's hear something for you. Huh? So anyway, you, you got huh? some history of no. the Gamma no. family. No, I know. Right? How about you? Now you got I could zoom in. The other Rose has stories. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rose Marie. She's got a lot of stories. Go ahead. That's going to be nice yeah, after no, you get it all, uh, you know, segregated. What do you do? Well, I don't do any editing. I'm just capturing it oh, for future I generations. That. That's good. That's this is you know, what it is is what it is. Yeah, right? It's going to be good. Oh, all right. We'll see you. See you, Rose. Be careful. Take Bye. care. Yeah? Okay, so Come long. On. We see you people. Say louder so she can hear you. Goodbye, Angel. So we'll see you. Okay. You're going to go home and take a walk now. And you sleep tonight. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm going out the back of the way, huh?
Yeah. Oh, oh, so you'll have a company. Right? Okay, bye now. Take care. You have good children. <laughs> bye. Bye, Mitchell. Bye. Bye bye. Got a mouthful? Oh, oh. Call him to get his last shot on, on camera. How about you, Basil? Oh, yeah. what do, you want do you have to any know? stories? Story? I'm just I trying know. to collect I can't any. Tell my story. <laughs> Which one do you want to hear? I don't even know what questions they ask. Well, you you were teenagers together, right? So, me and Uncle Gabe? Yeah. Uncle Gabe took me and caught my first trout with Uncle Gabe. Shot my first deer with Uncle Gabe. Got my first duck with Uncle Gabe. You had a lot of food with Uncle Gabe. Yeah, we had a lot of food. We had a lot of fun. She enjoyed it. Yeah. She's good. She's good old lady. Look at the camera. I don't want to get you on camera. You're going to send you into TV. Nah. I've, 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 actually, I've actually talked Uncle Mario out. Can you believe that? No. He's gone, isn't he? Yeah. He had an appointment at 3 o'clock. I talked him out. He was just getting wound up. Yeah. I think I'm going to finish up. Yeah? Yeah. So you're going to talk out now? Huh? No, I'm I'm getting too hot and uh, oh, yeah, you're right all the sun. older ones are gone. You're right in the sun. No, not unless you want to tell some more stories, but Me? yeah, because I don't know any of them. Nah, there's so many of them. Every trip we took, there was a story. Where'd you go? The early ones were the duck hunting hunt trip. We had nine guys in a rowboat, and the thing was an inch off of the top of the water, almost capsizing. So my brother shot decoys when we were there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just segue now. Yeah. Just maybe take a wide pan shot and